Yo, what's going on, everybody? It is Arcanize here, back with another video. Today, I'm going to be reviewing The Flash Season 5, Episode 18, titled Godspeed. This was a highly anticipated episode of The Flash, mainly, I think, because of the name Godspeed. He's a very popular character from the comics, and people have been wanting him on this show for a long time. Now, do I think the episode lived up to the hype? Yes, definitely. It was a great episode. But am I happy with how they handled Godspeed? And not so much. Before we get into the full review, if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button for daily movie reviews, episode reviews, trailer breakdowns, rankings, and all sorts of geeky content. Let's get into it. So Godspeed debuted on The Flash this episode, and in my opinion, he was pretty disappointing. He was basically just a Zoom knockoff. He didn't get his powers from the Speed Force Storm like in the comics. He was basically just a Velocity 9 junkie, and that just wasn't interesting at all to me to make him kind of just like Zoom. I wanted Godspeed to have that unique kind of flair that he does in the comics, and I didn't see that at all in this episode. You know, his powers weren't unique or anything. He basically seemed like just an average speedster. He wasn't extremely fast or anything because Nora, who had just gained her powers when they were fighting, was able to keep up with him. And another thing that I was afraid of going into this episode was that they would make Godspeed just a plain one-off villain. And that's kind of what they did, I think. Now, I could definitely be wrong. They could for sure bring him back in another episode sometime. But I don't see how they would do it. He's so specific to Nora's storyline that I just don't think he would work fighting Barry or something in the present. So I really don't know how they would do it, which leads me to think this will be the last time that we see Godspeed, which is very disappointing. But I will be happy if he comes back and they can give him some more character development. His suit, however, was absolutely amazing. I really liked it. The VFX, most of them looked pretty good. Now, Godspeed aside, the rest of this episode was really, really great. I loved it. Everything from the look at Nora's past, which took up a lot more of the episode than I was expecting. Almost the entire episode was in the future, exploring Nora's kind of origin, I guess. And I really enjoyed that. I loved seeing her go to work as a CSI. It reminded me so much of The Flash Season 1, and I loved that. You know, they had all of these callbacks like Poker Face when Nora was waking up from her little coma after being hit by Godspeed. All of the stuff around the CSI, I thought that was all great. We meet Nora's friend, I believe, Leah, who I really like. I thought they did a great job developing that character and setting her up as Nora's friend in the short amount of time that they had to do it. And when she is killed by Godspeed, you know, I felt that. I really did. And it has been revealed that Earth-9, Leah, is a speedster that could be trained by Jay. And I think that would be a really cool storyline if they want to explore that route in the future. And now, some of you may know, I am not the biggest fan of present-day Iris. I think she's too kind of impulsive, and sometimes her character does stuff that's literally just done to move the plot along and doesn't make sense for her character. But future Iris, I really liked. A, I thought all of the makeup and stuff looked really good. And B, I liked how she was caring. She cared about Nora, but she wasn't super annoying about it. I loved the talk that Nora and her had about Nora's powers and why Iris had dampened them. I thought that was great. And Danielle Panabaker, in her directing debut, does a great job with this episode. I thought most of the shots in here were pretty cool. Now, they do give us some looks at how Nora came to know Eobard Thawne, and I thought this was done very well, leading to an epic 
kind of fight with Nora and Godspeed. I wouldn't really call it epic, but it was pretty cool seeing Nora defeat him using Harrison's training and everything. I thought that was great. Another callback to season one when Eobard gives her the same speech about phasing that he gave Barry in season one. I thought that was cool. And then we get to the end where Barry says he doesn't trust Nora and sends her back to her time. This was heavy. This was emotional, but it made sense. And it was great, which led to a confrontation of Ia Barthon and Barry. And this was amazing. It might have been my favorite part of the episode. That whole talk was great. I love seeing Grant and Tom play with these two characters and any scene with them is usually just great. I loved that. So overall, it was an amazing episode, but the Godspeed stuff really hurt it for me. I felt like this could have been close to a perfect episode, but when your title character isn't what I thought he was going to be and is really disappointing, it does bring the episode down. But nonetheless, a great episode for The Flash. I'll give it a 9.1 out of 10. Let me know what you all thought of the episode down below in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.